Ready? Ready. 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 Everybody's ready. <laughs> ready to be ready. All right, I guess we'll uh, open the Board of Health meeting for Monday, October 24th, 2016, in the Selectman's Chambers Town Hall. Motion. PM. Motion to open the uh, meeting. Uh, Second and all those in favor. Aye. Aye. Um, look for a motion to accept the agenda for Monday, October 24th, 2016. Motion to accept the agenda for October, Monday, October 24th, 2016 at Second. 6 p.m. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Scheduled items. Discuss vote private well application 37 Wampatuck Ave. I guess we have somebody that wants to discuss. Um, we come in? Uh, yeah, so I can give you a little summary. Um, sure. So, as you'll recall, um, this board um, instituted um, very basic preliminary requirements for mm -hmm. the installation of a well. And what that included was that. The applicant needed to fill out um, an application. They needed to provide an unrefundable fee, um, copy, and signature of a licensed well driller in the state so that we knew that it was proposed to be drilled by somebody licensed by um, the Commonwealth. Okay, this is their certificate, this is their license. Yep. Okay. And then we requested a plan with a specified scale from either an engineer or a land surveyor providing various setback information um, and then any potential um, cross-contamination sources if the well were to be drilled. Okay, this is the plan here at the end. Yep, so we, um, we, we received an application package on September 29th for the address at 37 Wampatuck Ave. Um, they were required to um, acquire an abutters list from the assessor's office, um, which they did. Um, we confirmed that they notified um, all of the abutters by certified mail that this is going to happen. All right, I saw the list here. Yep, so we have the list. Um, we have the confirmation of all of the um, certified mail return receipts. Okay. Uh, no, is a hearing's not required for this application? Correct. So typically at this point, it can be an administrative review. Yep. However, we had um, one abutter um, send us a letter with concerns requesting a hearing. Okay. So that's what brings us here this evening. Okay, understood. Is that abutter here? Yes. Oh, okay, cool. Um, well, let me start. Did, did, did you have any questions or issues with the well, the well permit or anything? So, um, the well application was reviewed by me. Mm -hmm. um, they have met the minimum requirements that we've set forth as we continue to work on finalizing our complete regulations. Okay. Um, it has also been, a site visit was conducted and um, approval provided by the conservation agent in advance of the meeting. So, the two departments that work hand in hand, both on septic and wells, have both reviewed it administratively. Um, and have no concerns with it. Okay. Um, but we did receive um, a letter from Maureen Murphy, who is back there, um, from 33 Wampatuck Ave. Sure. Well, Ms. Murphy, I, I um, welcome you to the Board of Health, and mm -hmm. I guess uh, we'll leave the floor to you if you want to tell us what your grievance is. Well, I wanted to ask questions more than grievances. Sure. My sister owns the property at 35. Okay. And I'm at 33. Okay. But the line between 35 and 37 is extremely, well, I don't know whether it's, I'm sure it's not questionable anymore, but we've been there, you know, since the 30s, 1930s. Yeah. So when you say the line, you mean the property line? Yeah, I okay. don't know that there was ever a, a clearly de delineated line that we were aware of. Everybody, you know, there was a big, uh, tennis court there, yeah. and there was a small um, garage that they've replaced with an extremely large garage, which is very, very close to the property line, and then they store other things besides the garage, so it, the proximity to the garage on 35, my sister's property, yeah. is very, very close, okay. and we were wondering, certainly, where the plan would be to put this well. Well, the, there's a plan here. Have you seen the plan? No. You're more than welcome to come up. You can take a look at my copy. Um, and 
And uh, this plan here was drawn by a licensed land surveyor, which they did put their stamp on it. So, uh, I guess you're 35 here. My sister's 35, 35 I'm 33. 33. So there you go, 33, 35, and it's 37. And the proposed well is right here. So there's set In between back the there. house and the garage. Yeah, yeah, and 10 foot off the property. All right, line. what is not here is there are very large trees here. Okay. And my concern is all you hear on the news is the drought has undermined the root system of trees. Sure. And it doesn't make sense to me to put a well drawing even more water off when these old trees are, when they fall, they hit the new garage, we'll have a lawsuit, I suppose. This doesn't, this doesn't indicate the closeness of several large trees here. Yeah. I don't know why it couldn't be put over here away from us. It's already, everything is yeah, encroaching, to to encroaching very much on the property line. I, I don't know if I'm speaking on a term, but I, I think they can put it anywhere on their lot as long as it's within certain setbacks. And out here, there's no septic system, so it really isn't affected by a septic system. That would be one of the biggest things. Yeah, because so, I think that's all in storage down there, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it yeah. looks like by this plan. Yeah. yeah it is. Um, as far as a well and sucking the water out, I, I don't know how deep this well is going to be and how it'll affect the trees. I, I, I don't know. I, um, I understand the concern, but a drought's a drought. And I think with the drought we had, this well wouldn't have been able to be used anyways because we have a, um, in our bylaw, if there's an emergency uh, water ban, then everybody is compliant with the emergency water ban. Pretty sure we wrote that in. Or is that going to be on a second? So, so as of now, yeah. um, the private wells are exempt from the policy of the full water ban. Um, private well users were requested to follow the same or similar guidance as public water users right. this summer. Um, many people have been. I guess when we finish our regulations, with, with if there's an emergency that. that bad that we had this year. You're smart. Why are you smart? I, there's already a problem, and every year we have the ban on using water. It's not like this was, I know this was extreme this year, but there's yeah. always a problem. Well, there's so always why a ban put on, on the public this? water supply, and I think it was explained here at one of the meetings that uh, the town is only allowed to draw so much water. So in the summertime, we have an influx of population, and that puts a strain on the water system as a whole. The state, again, only allows you to draw mm -hmm. so much water. That doesn't necessarily dictate that there's... Uh, problem with uh, it's water elevation in the ground. It's how much you can draw. Okay. So there's a difference there. This year we had a legitimate drought. There's no question about it. It, it was drought. This year, we, this year we had a total water ban, yeah. which included you know, everything up to and including, you know, the only thing you could do was a handheld um, <clears throat> a bucket to, to water your lawn. Whereas my understanding in years previous, is that there was restrictions, you know, before certain nine, days. after five, you had certain days. This was by far an extreme, an extreme year mm -hmm. that we've all struggled through. Yes. Yes, and I've, I've been, not read as much, but I've seen trees that have died, and most of them were, uh, I think they were uh, not indigenous in the areas that they were planted. In the property well, these are so. very old trees. Yeah, so I'm sure they've seen droughts before. And, and again, I don't know how, draw, how deep this well is going to draw, so it, it's it's kind of out of our privy. They've done what we've asked them to do within the town. So <clears throat> I don't know. I can't speak for my other two members, but if they want to comment, they, they absolutely can. I um, just, just I, need, I need to be yeah, filming, so. an odd policy <clears throat> that, that when we have issues with water and we have the issues with um, influx of, of extra people in the summer, I understand all that. So why would you exacerbate the situation by allowing, obviously not just these people, but you've indicated many people to do all these laws? Because when we this summer had straw, they had green grass. I have straw as well. Yeah, <laughs> You still have straw. 37. Mine's slow. 37 is very green. No, well, I, I they can, don't. They um, don't have a private okay. well now, so. Um, the Dismiss only. Murphy. Now, what would be coming up out of the wall? Would it be brackish water? We're not very far from the ocean. So, so that would be something that their well driller would have to work on. And I've actually asked that question myself. You know, can they even go deep enough to avoid right. salt because water and get fresh? Right. This is the ocean. 
Right. So we could be talking about a well that is 25 feet deep. We could be talking a well that's, and I'm making numbers up just to give you an example. You know, a well driller could have to go several hundred feet deep. There are wells in town that are four, five, six hundred feet deep. So that is going, that would be a determination of the expertise of a well driller, how deep they would need to go, um, and the associated cost incurred would be a decision made by the homeowner as to whether they Let would me want ask you to a question. Let me ask you a question, and I'm sorry I was late. Um, have you talked to an arborist and see what the arborist has to say? No, no. I haven't. I mean, they, if anybody would know, it would be them. Um, yeah. But I would think that the town would protect the average citizen from somebody else doing something that would jeopardize, as I said, there are big trees here, there are big trees out front, there's bushes here. I would think it would undermine our, our own surface water that would be feeding our trees and bushes. Well, see, now that, that's a different story then. See, that, that's a different story. The, the well issue is obviously a hot topic because of what we've gone through and what we're still going through. But if you're going to want to say that and say, you know, it's going to take away, and like Jen was saying, some of these artesian wells can go three, four, five hundred feet down. It all depends on what, what the client <coughs> wants to pay and how much they're willing to drill down in order to get that fresh water. But who's to say, it's not for us to say, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I can't say they cannot drill a, a well on their property this is their property and their property line goes from point a to point b point c point d and it goes all the way down it goes fictitiously up all the way until the faa says they can't do anything until they can't go any higher that's so, an, another question i have in terms of what it would look like because we already have this enormous garage there is um a, a sw swing uh here there is a thing and so i'm, I'm saying where is this going to be we're not talking about aesthetics here I, if that's their property they can do whatever they like with it it's well, not, i know it's we not know that issue. we know that's what happens and, and yeah. honestly and honestly wells are tiny compared to garages and so on so i had so no idea what it would look like that's not that's it's usually um mm -hmm. it's usually a metal pipe and it's got like aluminum on top and then you might have uh, black wires coming down. Usually they're up about, let's say, maybe two feet. If that. Yeah. yeah. If that. If that. Yeah. And that's usually about <coughs> the And um, if they don't like the look of it, sometimes you put a dog house over or something. But that's up to them. It's on the property. Or wishing, wishing, wishing some, well. Some people surround them by right. wishing yeah. well. Yeah. Right. giving them an aesthetic appeal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's, that's, it's, but, that's but, their but house there. My, my suggestion is, and I don't want to spend your money for you, but it sounds like you, you're extremely concerned about this. Have an arborist just weigh their opinion on it. You know, they will say, and depending on how old the trees are, you know how well, they'll know how deep those roots go. And those roots may not even tap a well that goes down three, four, five hundred feet. It's too totally, maybe too, too. Now, the estimate on the trees would probably be um, 90 years old. Okay, well, an arborist would know where those roots are. He would know how they would lay out and so on and so forth. But the well is not, certainly not going, the rainwater is going to affect it much more than a well going 400 feet down. And we've had this discussion, we've been going over this time and time again with uh, the water department, with uh, local water authorities and so on and so forth, that some of these artesian wells that are drilled four or 500 feet down, the water's coming from, from Montreal. It's coming from the Berkshires. It's coming from northern Vermont. Where so does the ocean want to go? Where's the water level? That's a different story. So when they drill down, and it, say they drill down 50 feet, the water's still brackish. Because of because of the the water plane that's here from the ocean, that is up to the client, their client, the client to keep saying, okay, I want to go until I hit fresh water. And they may hit bedrock at 400 feet. I don't know. I mean, that's Sand. nobody knows. I don't. I don't know. You're right. It is close to the ocean, but somebody's willing to take a shot at it, and and I cannot. And I again, I the the two people sitting next to me. I can't say no to that without you bringing me something from an arborist to somebody that says, if I, if I tap into this, this uh, aquifer here, it's going to cause these uh, trees to wither up and die and fall over. Because you, you and I both know these trees, once we get a nasty storm anyway, it's going to be wet. They could fall over anyway. It's going to be age. It's not or going the to wind. Be, or the wind. Yeah, or the wind. It's not. It's not going to be. It's not going to be because of the lack of water that a well is sucking up around it. That's my personal opinion. 
and you're not a neurologist. I am not. That's why I'm telling what you. Your, what uh, is your expertise? My expertise, well, I range from the photo business to now I'm in the auto industry and I was retired for a few years, but that doesn't mean I, that doesn't, that's neither here nor there. I'm asking you, if you're so concerned about your trees that straddle your property line here, have an arborist take a look at them and say, for all you know, they could, the next storm they may blow over anyway because they're so weak after the drought we had this year. That's why arborists come. They make those So decisions. the town is not prepared to intervene or protect neighbors at all? Whoa, 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 whoa. No. There's rights with a well, and we're protecting the person that owns the property with a well. We've also invited you in because you had a complaint or... No, I have questions. I have so questions. we do, and we're trying to answer those questions. So this works both ways for not only the owner of the property, but also the abutters. So... Which you are. Which you are. So that's where it stands and they've done everything what we've asked to do as the town and that's what it is so we've been we've been working on private well regulations for the past year we've been having probably we've probably had a good 10 or so meetings um, regarding the development of private well regulations um, you, you can go back and review them if you like um, but one of the major discussions was, do we put restrictions on private well users in the same well, in the same way that public water users would have restrictions? And the research that I have found, um, and I've, I've looked at dozens of towns, is that there are no towns, to the best of my knowledge, that prevent the installation of private wells, with the exception of Boston, um, where they flat out say no private wells. They're a city, they're urban, they provide water to their entire <coughs> city. Um, so they, from a long time ago, say no private wells. With the exception of Boston, I have found no community that prevents the installation of private wells. There are a couple of communities that have implemented through town meeting an acceptance or rejection of a bylaw restrictions of some degree or other on private well users in the times that public well users are also under their own limitations. Mm -hmm. So those those discussions are still ongoing amongst these board members. They've taken a lot of time um, and a lot of pain to try to get it right, which is why it's taking a long time. And we've um, also got other uh, entities that are reviewing and going. And right. Now, well. when <coughs> well, as you have reviewed a lot of these things, what is your understanding of how drilling a well here could undermine the footings of this Again, probably 1910, 1920 year old garage, which is right on top of it. So, a private well casing is typically this big, and the hole is just slightly larger than that so that they can put the sleeve down the hole. So, you can guarantee me it won't upset the, 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 um, the structure here? So, that garage is that yours? My okay. sister's. I, I live so here. So, this garage, this my sister's. That's on 37 is. No, Your 35. Group. Oh, that little, the square in yeah. the back is And it's old, garage. and it's old. So if they're putting it here, I mean, if they put it over there, I'd be less concerned. But they're putting it right here, and whether that uh, is going to, in fact, impact the integrity of their foundation. It's an old, old edifice. This is a patio that's old stone. Again, 1920s. I think that's going to get to a while ago myself. I, I can't say anything. I've never heard of it. Well, I know up the street they had um, they were building something and they had to shore up the neighbors' lawns because they thought it was going to undermine. Well, that's that's building, building, building something and digging a hole that's this far around are two different things, though. I mean, was it building a house structure? Yeah. Or? I'm talking about up the street. Oh, the garage in the back. Yeah. yeah. Remember they had to yeah. shore up that. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. That's a good size house. Mm -hmm. Is that on the same side of you, no, or across the street? Across the street. 
across the street and up here. Yeah, it's up yeah. towards the Bramble. Bramble, yes. Right. Yeah, that, that, they added the house yeah. up. So they had to share, and their land slopes. Yeah. So they probably had to put a retaining wall yeah. because of the house structure, not a well. Or, oh, I know it wasn't a well. Yeah. <clears throat> but that's probably it. And like she said, the, I mean, if it's as big as this table, you're lucky on that. So it's not going down and out. It's going straight, straight down. down. So it's not, you know. So you can assure me it, it will not uh, impact either of these? We cannot assure you anything. The well drill is the one. That the one, the well drill is the one that makes that decision. Yeah, we, we cannot assure you. Well, I have no access to him. Well, I'm, I mean, I, I think everything gets checked where he's going to go and how he can do it. And he's already claimed on where it's going and that. So he's got to know what's there and that, you know, the garage or your garage or the houses and stuff to that nature. He just doesn't back into the drive, you know, and drill. He's got to know what's around and all that, too. So the, so the state has private well guidelines. They are not legal requirements, but they are guidelines set forward by the state. The state has a licensing process by which all well drillers must be licensed. Um, they must be um, licensed by the Commonwealth Massachusetts Department of Environmental Protection yearly. So they have to be in good standing. Um, the which means they have to keep up with all the new regulations that mm -hmm, the government mm -hmm. sets forth. Um, so this gentleman, you know, is current through December of 2016. And you have, you have checked his qualifications and his record in terms of so any we, issues of past jobs? So what we require... Is that what you do? So what we require is that they be licensed by the state. The state of Massachusetts, if there are any complaints or any issues with this well driller because they're licensed by the state, the state is responsible to act. If they have a valid license with the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, they are entitled to work in situate. So you wouldn't be at all informed as to any issues that they might have had in past jobs? So, as I indicated, if they had issues on past jobs that people complained about or people took issue with, they would go to the state. If the state found that those issues were valid, they could either suspend or revoke somebody's license. This gentleman is licensed through 2016, mm -hmm. and he was required to be renewed, have his license renewed every 365 days. So although the Board of Health covers a myriad of topics, and we're required to license a myriad of individuals doing professional services, this is one that the state covers. This is all public record, isn't it? It is. Oh, yes. More contact. Thank you. Thank you. And, and that might be the best way to, it, and they do it anywhere on the property. They, they yeah, but they, they've they chosen to do it on our property, on my sister's property line. And again, moving, it's it's a new experience for me. Did you talk to the abutter? Did yeah. you talk to one putting the well in? No. I mean, that, that's an option too, if, if there's a problem. Sometimes a six pack on well, Saturday after, is a good way to After they somebody. build that garage. Yeah. They, they don't care what I think. And when, uh, when, when, was, I when was the garage built? Last year, a year before? Yeah. yeah. Completely blocking the ocean view. You know? But again, it's their property. Their property, we know that. I mean, I lived on Marion Road, and if you've been over to Marion Road, With someone three family. someone put a three family yeah, house in, and I can't see anything over there. Yeah. So yeah. But it's I mean, just part of. At least we were notified of that. Mm hmm. As an about it to because we were uh, no online we weren't a notified or had any say about that. Well, you were you were notified, which is why you reached out to me. Not about the well. I'm yeah. talking about the garage, which so is bigger than a two-family house. Their garage is bigger than a two-family house. Yeah, that edifice. There was a small garage there originally, and there was you know quite a bit of space between the two properties. That's gone. That's where they park their cars. That's where the new two-family uh, gar uh, garage is. And that's where they store their boat. A cat would have a hard time getting through there. Oh, I get you. This is where they park the cars. So is this paved over here? I have no idea. Yeah. So that's it's, probably why they don't put the well over there. It's new space. Makes sense. That's probably one. I didn't do a sidewalk, but I'm sure there's a reason. And I don't think it's spiteful. It's just that's where it 
but if you look at 35 their garage is kind of on the line too yes but that's grandfather that was done like 1920 oh, it had I, nothing to do with our family oh and i understand that, that. i mean who built that years and years right. years ago i mean when i lived in my house in marion road we had all the different things going on um, and it is grandfather it is the way it is but but again property lines are property lines and their guidelines for I mean I could our house on Marion Road when we grew up I could reach over to the neighbor's house and get tea and coffee through the windows if you wanted to <laughs> that's I mean that's how they were built and um, that's where they're still down there in that neck of the woods down there and they're all on top of each other it is what it is and I can tell you I have a friend who has a well that has trees and they've had the well for a while and there's no issues with trees how but old are the trees they're they're old i mean it's not a new development or anything I mean, like that these are very old trees i'm concerned about are there any, um, are there any other abutters that they're want? they're the next uh, house up do you have any questions or anything or have they been answered um, no actually uh, would you like to see where it is going i just yeah that's where i want i just wanted to know where it was going that's Especially for your sake. I take you guys are the owners? Right. Oh, we are. Uh, so, right on the corner. Yeah. You have any questions? <laughs> no. Okay. Hmm. You understand. Gotcha. They're not concerned about our concerns. I'm sure they are. Come on. We're all neighbors here. <laughs> yeah. Used to be. Yeah. Used to be. Yeah, we'll get the Indian. Well, thank you for your time. Indian Trail there. Very appreciated. I'm so it's right on the corner of the bridge. Yeah, that's questions. Is that where all the bolts are stacked and everything? All no, the stuff? bolts are stacked between. All right, right here. The bolts are stacked oh, right. here. Yeah. Okay. This is where the swing is. No, to okay. This is where the fire pit is. No yeah. And then the well is, and the well is yeah. going right there. Just move on to the next side. Um. I see you put something. Yeah, so for typically it's an administrative review process, and we leave it in as an administrative review process. Um, yeah. yeah, that's fine. Just, you know, you didn't know, you know to, to confirm that you, know, you, know, you are in agreement well, with the fact that they have requirements. Um, you didn't really have any issues. Yeah, I don't Thank you. Thank you. That's right. Well, thank you for your time. Thank, thank you. you. We appreciate well. it. Have a good night. Okay, moving along. Uh, new business to no new spot? business to the light must be. Line of sight. So hey, guys, I'll, uh, I'll, talk to, I'll talk to the well. You want to see what I'm saying? Guys, no, I... no offense, but we're still conducting a meeting, so if you well, guys... I beg your pardon. Yeah, if you want to go out the hallway, go out the hallway, enjoy yourselves. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. So there's no new business, John? All right, moving on to other business. Administrative invoice approvals, there's a folder there, and meeting minutes approvals, and I have all these. And one of them you and I have to do, Russell. And one of them is all here, Russ. I read these the other day. I read them. Is that one on you, Jim? Thank you. Okay, which one? All right, uh, September 12, 2016, right under new business. Yep. Uh, delayed due to lack of quorum. I, I just don't like the word quorum because we had a quorum because there were two members here. We just didn't have all three members. We need to talk to Miss Jen because I had something else and she changed it. So. Gotcha. Jen, Jen always reviews it. I don't think so. it's a. I don't think it's a big deal. It's just. It's just we had a quorum because yeah, we had no, a meeting. I thought, I thought I had changed that. Um, so if, we can. If someone had picked us, they'd be like, "Well, you had a quorum, um, but that doesn't say that there's no quorum." Um, 
um, and have all so board members say, present, right, right. right? All board members present. So we could say delayed due to lack of all board members being present. Okay. Stupid, stupid. Okay. No, 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 no it's I fine. No, we I we I do that. the best we can. And oh, no, you guys do awesome. Like I said, I just. Like I said, I could have typed him. Huh? Definitely make mistakes. Oh, I think we're just missing one word. And again, it's just. And I got a D in English in high school. Come on. <laughs> so, and I'm not saying that anyway, but maybe I got smarter as I got older, or, or just more, you know, I don't know. The limit of the geo mean is 35, so we had to close Lighthouse Beach for the season for swimming. I'd just like to add for the rest of the season, because it wasn't the whole season, it was just the rest of the season. Does that make sense? Yep. Just clarification, that's all. Okay. You don't anybody ever want in history to think Lighthouse Beach was closed for the season. Mm -hmm. um, you know, no, that's together. good. I think that's good. All right. That was it. That's all I yep. saw. And I would make a motion to approve. Uh, With those changes? Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Moving on to September 26th, which was a very short meeting. And we elect the chairman, and we approve minutes, and we'll take a motion to approve these guys. Motion to approve um, <coughs> meeting agenda for September 26, 2016. Meeting minutes. Meeting minutes. Did I say meeting? Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. And nothing else, Jim? Uh, right there. Right there. Nothing else? All right. Make a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn the meeting. All right. Meeting adjourned.